There was this king sitting in his garden all alone when his brother in his ear poured a wee tetto hen bane. Then he stole his brother's crown and his money and his widow. But the deed king walked and got his son and said, Now listen, kiddo. I've been killed and it's your duty to take revenge on Claudius and kill him quick and clean and show the nation what a fraud he is. The boy said, right, I'll do it, but I'll have to play it crafty so nobody will suspect me, I'll kid on that I'm a dafty. So, to all except Horatio, and he trusts him as a friend. Hamlet, that's the boy, kids on his run the bend, and because he was not ready for obligatory killing, he tried to make the king think he was tuppence off the shilling. Took the mickey out, Polonius treated Perophilia vile, dealt Rosencrantz and Guildenstern that Denmark was a jail. Then a troop of travelling actors like 784 arrived to do a special one-night gig in Elsinore. Hamlet, Hamlet loved his mammy, Hamlet, Hamlet acting bammy, Hamlet, Hamlet hesitating, wonders if the ghosts are cheating, that is why he's waiting. Then... Hamlet wrote a scene for the players to enact, while Horatio and him would watch to see if Claudius cracked. The play was called The Mousetrap, no, the one that's running new. And sure enough, the king walked out before the scene was through. Now Hamlet's got the proof that Claudius gave his dad a doze. The only problem being now that Claudius knows he knows. And while Hamlet tells his mammy her new husband's no a fit one, Uncle Claude puts out a contract with the English king as hitman. And when Hamlet killed Polonius, the concealed corpus delecti was the king's excuse to send him for an English hemp and necktie with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to make sure he got there. But Hamlet jumped the ship and put the finger on that pair. Meanwhile, Laertes heard his dad had been stabbed through the arras. He came racing back to Elsinore, took sweet hot foot from Paris. Ophelia with her dad killed by the man she was to marry. After saying it with fleurs, she committed Harry Carry. Hamlet, Hamlet, nae messin'. Hamlet, Hamlet, learned his lesson. Hamlet, Hamlet, Yorick's crust. Convinced him that men, good or bad, at last must turn to dust. Then... Laertes lost the place and was demanding retribution and the king said keep the heed and I'll provide you a solution so the king arranged a sword fight for the interested parties with a blunted sword for Hamlet and a sharp sword for Laertes and to make things double sure the old belt and braces line he fixed a poison sword tip and a poison cup of wine the poison sword got Hamlet but Laertes went and muffed it cause he got stabbed himself and he confessed before he snuffed it then... Hamlet's mammy drank the wine and as her face turned blue, Hamlet said, well, I quite believe the king's a baddie new. Incestuous, murderous, damned Dane, he said to be precise, and made up for hesitating by killing Claudius twice, cause he stabbed him with a sword and forced the wine between his lips. Then he cried, the rest is silence. That was Hamlet had his chips, they fired a volley over him that shook the topmost rafters, and fortin brass knee deep in Danes lived happy ever after. Hamlet, Hamlet, oh the gory, Hamlet, Hamlet, end of story, Hamlet, Hamlet, I'm away, and if you think this is boring, you should read the bloody play.